Kia ora budding entrepreneurs, I have a hopefully short video for you today on the use of Google Calendar. Uh, it's going to show you four things. Number one, how to get to Google Calendar and its interface. Number two, how to create and edit events. Number three, sharing events with other people or calendars with other people and having them share them with you. And number four, a quick look at Google Tasks. So to start us off, how do we get to Google Calendar? Well, if you're on the Google website like I am, you go up to the Apps button up here, all these little square boxes, and you need to find Calendar under there. Yours may not be in the same place as mine, but it'll be in there somewhere. So give that a click, and it'll ask you to log in. So you need to put in your username and password and click on Sign In. Uh, if you've done that correctly, it should take you to Google Calendar. Now, yours may look a little different to mine. Um, up the top on the right, we have these buttons that let you change the time frame. So if you're on day, you can go to week, month, four days, or an agenda that shows you everything. I like to keep mine on monthly view. On the left, you've got uh, these little left and right buttons that let you move through time. So I'm going to move forward all the way through to February or March, hopefully around there where you're watching this video. Down the left side I've got all these tools that let me create events, look at a little calendar, look at any calendars that I have created that I own, or look at any ca calendars that have been shared with me. So the first thing you want to look at is how to create a calendar. And you do that by going over here to My Calendars and clicking on the drop down button. Then you want to click Create New Calendar. And it's going to ask you firstly to give it a name. So I'm going to name mine BST Calendar. Uh, you could give it a description if you want. Um, maybe uh, Calendar for Managing My Business Studies Dates. <clears throat> and there are other options down here for sharing, etc. Uh, but we'll look at them later. So for now, just click Create Calendar. And that calendar should pop up down the left side here. Now the reason you're creating many of these is you don't want all your different subject stuff in one calendar. You want it separate. So you can see that there it is. It's popped up. Um, and I have my new shiny calendar. Uh, one of the things you can do, I don't really like this weird sort of darkish pink color. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow next to it and change it to a nice light pink color. That's one of the things you can do if you so wish. Uh, the other thing you notice is that you can turn different calendars off and on. So if I click on this, it turns that calendar off. If I wanted to bring up my 13 Business Studies one or my 12 Business Studies one, I can bring those up. Um, so if I go to March, you can see that I have those there. I can turn that one off, turn that one off, turn it on, etc. So now, now that you know how to create a calendar, you want to look at how you can create an event. So if I've got my BST calendar on, I may want to create an event, let's say, on the 12th of February. I just need to click anywhere in that box, and this will pop up. And you see it says event, and it says what? What is this event? Well, I'm going to go meeting, brainstorming, ideas. And then I need to click which of my calendars that's going to go in. That's going to go in my BST calendar, and click on create. And you can see that it's made for me an uh, event on the 12th of February right there. However, I've just realized I've made a huge mistake, and I want to edit some of the things for that event. Uh, so I need to click on that event again, and you can see here I can go edit, or over here if I really want I can delete it, but I'm going to click on edit event. So now I can change anything on the title if I really want to. I could say, oh, I want to just call it brainstorming. Um, I can say, oh, I don't really want that meeting to go all day, so I'm going to uncheck all day. I'm going to say it's going to go from 10.30 to 11. Just a quick half hour meeting. I could put in a location so people know where to go, so I'm going to put that in C4. I could change which calendar it's on, and I could add a description. I could say, for example, Bring your ideas from your personal brainstorms. Now if I want I can change the colour and there's some other settings down there but I suggest you just leave them as they are. Don't forget to click save. So now that's changed to just a half an hour meeting uh, on that event. And that's how you edit events. 
The next thing you may want to know is how you can share your calendar with other people and how you can have them share it with you. So if I want to share this, I need to go back over my calendars, my little drop down arrow. And this time I want to go share this calendar. And you want to share it with specific people. You don't want everyone knowing about all your business details. So you want to enter in the email addresses of everyone in your group. So I can do that like that. And then over here you have a drop down box that for you will have many settings. For this on me it doesn't. It will have all these settings here. It will say uh, make changes and let the manager sharing, make changes to events, see all details, and see only free busy hide details. So when you're putting that person's email in you can uh, select any one of those. I suggest you leave it on make changes to events. That will allow people to see events and change anything that's important and click save. So now I've shared my calendar with other people in my group. If someone shares it with me, it will appear down here under my other calendars. So you can see Walt, who's in my 13 Business Studies group, has already shared one with me. So I'm just going to turn that on. And you can see that he's already made a meeting about product brainstorming. So maybe there was a bit of a communication issue in my group, and it's meant to be on the 24th. So I'm going to delete my one and just look at Walt's one, which says we're going to have that team meeting on 24th. And that's how other people can share their calendars with you. So that's all the basics of using uh, Google Calendar and creating events. You may also want to use Google Tasks. Uh, something you need to know about Tasks, though, is that it's only personal. You can't share it with anyone else. So if you're going to use Tasks, it has to be on things that are just for you. So if you want to turn it on, it's down here under My Calendars, and it should automatically be there for you. I'm just going to turn it on, and it brings up this little window on the right here. And you can see that you've got all you've got the name of it here, which, and you've got um, any tasks will appear in there. You've got a whole lot of actions you can perform. You can add new tasks, delete them, or you can change lists. So you can have uh, different lists, for example, for each class. And you can see that I've got mine business studies list. So if I want to add a task, say for example I know I've got this meeting coming up, and I want to make sure that I've got some ideas ready, I could put uh, on the Saturday before, for example, on the 21st, I could click in there like I normally would. Instead of being on event, I'm going to put task. And the task is brainstorm ideas for product. I can note there, I will take these to the brainstorming meeting. And I'm just going to click create tasks and that comes up. Now when I've done that I can tick it off there or I could tick it off up there to show that I've completed that task. I can also edit it by clicking on this little arrow over the side here if I really want to change anything about it. So that's how you create and tick off tasks. Uh, you can actually also um, get tasks through your Gmail. So if I open up my apps here and go to mail, say someone in my group has sent me an email about something. Oh, and you can see here that I have an email about my prototype creation. Um, I'm going to go into that email by clicking on it. And it says, hi Mr. B, turns out our primary supplier cannot uh, product, I think they mean provide, the size or color combination we want. Can you contact our secondary supplier and inquire with them? We'll need the information. I think that should be by March the 3rd. Regards, Walt. So Walt's not the best speller, but he has sent me an email uh, about how I need to contact our secondary supplier. If I'm in this and I want to create a task right now, I go to More, Add to Tasks, and Tasks will pop up. And see, it's already put in there, Prototype Creation Related Email. I'm quickly going to edit, click on the arrow to edit that, so I can put in a due date for it. Uh, they said it needs to be done by March the 3rd, so I'm going to go to March the 3rd. I might do it, make sure I've done it by the 2nd, and then just go back to list. And You can see there now that that task has been added to my little task pop-up window, which is fantastic. If I go back to my Google Calendar, um, you can see that it's already been updated. So prototype creation is my task list, list, and if I go to March, it's there as well. So that's how you can use Google Tasks. But remember, 
You cannot share those with other people in your group. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. I'm sorry that it was a little bit long, um, but if you have any other questions, feel free to ask your teacher. Best of luck.